Father, we're so grateful for this hour that we may come to celebrate this union, this relationship of love. Grateful, Father, that you have uh, created them uniquely different. But Lord, you've ordained this time that they come together and I pray your blessings upon them as they begin this chapter of their lives. May it always honor you. May it always experience your blessings upon them in each and everything that they do. And Lord, I pray that for wisdom and for guidance and always for strengthening each step along the way. This evening, two candles stand before me, but henceforth their flame will shine as one, with one hope and one dream and one aim, giving glory to you as we come asking these things in the name of your Son, our Savior, Christ Jesus. Amen. We are excited tonight to be able to come to celebrate a special time, uh, something that has gone on for many, many days of planning and preparation. Uh, relationships uh, are interesting. We start out with romance, and that's the ordinary part of life. But suddenly it becomes the extraordinary, and that's where you guys are at at this hour. It's at that moment in time that we realize that we can spend uh, the days of our life together as husbands and wives and we can enjoy life together. And uh, Cameron and Megan came to that point in their life where they came to realize that this was the step and this was the purpose. True love is something far more. It is the desire of their lives and the commitment of their love for each other today that we're celebrating. Let me share with you some things about marriage. A good marriage has to be created, it grows. So you take an entrance step, you do not know everything that comes ahead of you. You don't know everything that's gonna happen, but you're not in it alone, you're in it together walking hand in hand, but the hand of the Lord is also upon you. The Bible teaches us those whom the Lord loves, He blesses, He guides, He strengthens, He gives them wisdom for living. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never too old to hold hands. Always celebrating that relationship. Never forgetting romance as a part of marriage. Never forgetting that you can still court even though and go on a date even though that you're now husbands and wives. Never forgetting you can have those special times that are memories. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude one to another. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget and to move forward. 
It is the love that is described as a bond that holds us together, that strengthens us, that as a cord we're two are together and the power of God is there. It cannot be severed and it cannot be broken. It's giving each other the atmosphere in which to grow. You're going to grow. You're going to mature. You're going to change. Um, I visited with you early in this process and I asked you, do you know everything about each other? And you know a whole lot, but you're going to find out a bunch more when you start living together and spending all the time together that you have. You're going to discover the unique things that you love about each other the things that made you realize, hey, this could be the person God has in store for me. It's the common search in marriage for the good and the beautiful. It's not only marrying the right person, it's about being the right partner. I'll take your flowers. You guys turn and face each other. Cameron, put your hands up for me. And Megan, you lay your hands up on his hands. It's a little contemporary song that says, love is a very special thing. It's a smile, it's a tear, it's a soft summer rain. It has no beginning, it has no end, but I like it best when it's shared with a friend. What is marriage? I think it's built on the principle of scripture, a friend loves at all times. The Apostle Paul described it as a love that believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and it is a love that never fails. It is a mosaic, a composite of all of the strings of God pulled together that reflect the rainbow, His beauty, His creation, His nurture. It is destined, created by God, and God's plan for man and for woman. So we come at this hour to celebrate your union and this exchange of these vows. Cameron, would you repeat after me? All right? Megan? Megan. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. My one true love. My one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And I will love you today. And I will love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And forever. And forever. And Megan, would you look at Cameron and would you repeat after me? Cameron, I take you as my husband. Cameron, I take you as my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. My one true love. My one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today. And love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And forever. Now y'all get to say this part together, okay? Repeat after me. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come. Whatever may come. I will always be there. I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. I will love you with an everlasting love. I will love you with an everlasting love. Let's ask the Lord's blessings upon this union at this hour. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Give the highest priority to tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail you, when troubles come your way, realize that the sun might be obscured for a little bit behind the clouds, but soon the love of God will shine forth. It'll brighten you with hope. Follow that hope. Walk with your dreams. Dream big dreams. Evaluate where you are in your lives. Look at it in lengths of four years, five years. Where do we want to be? How do we want to serve? What do we want to accomplish? What legacy do we want to leave behind? It's important that as we leave that legacy, we honor the Lord and we honor each other. Take responsibility for the quality of the life that you have together and enjoy those things. Laugh at the tough times. Enjoy and celebrate the big things. 
and just enjoy life together and learn to laugh and learn to let the love relationship grow stronger each and every day. Now, looking at each other again, I'm gonna ask that you repeat after me. Cameron, Megan, I take you to be my wife. Megan, I take you to be my wife. I will love you. I will love you. Honor you. Honor you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And protect you. And protect you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Hold myself only unto you. Hold myself only unto you. And Megan, would you repeat after me? Cameron, in taking you as my husband, I promise to love you, honor you, cherish you, and protect you, forsaking all others. Keep myself only unto you as long as we both shall live. These are the rings that you've chosen for this day of celebration. Uh, they are made of gold. The Bible counsels us to buy of gold that's been tested by fire. Yours have a history and a heritage. Uh, they are reflective of your families. Cameron's ring comes from his grandfather and uh, Megan's ring comes from her dad. They've been fashioned especially for this day of celebration. Uh, let them serve to remind you of the unending love that you have for each other. Let them serve to remind you of the vows that you've made. Traditionally, we've placed them on the third finger of the left hand. And the reason that is, is because in ancient of days, we believed it was the finger that was closest to the heart. So as you look at that, let it remind you, it is heart love and heart strength that walks with us from this day forward. Let your hands relax. Take that ring, extend your left hand to him. Place this ring upon her finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. Repeat after me. I, I give, give you this ring. as a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. All right. She'll put it on the rest of the way. It's good, there you go. All right, left hand, good, third finger. I give you this ring as a pledge of my love. With this ring, I thee wed. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you at this time. Lord. We just lift up Megan and Cameron and bless this marriage. Lord, we just ask for your guidance for their lives. You be the guiding light for them. And Lord, we just ask for the joys and all the challenges that come along, that you be the protective hedge for them and that they're always looking forward to you. And God, we just thank you again for this couple, Cameron and Megan, that love each other so much. And it's, it's sure, it certainly shows. And we love both of them so much as parents. And we just ask for your blessings upon them and blessings upon their future. Cameron and Megan, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel and looking to the heavens for divine sanction, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Cameron, you may kiss your bride. Y'all wait right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you this afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Keith. Y'all can exit.
Nothing else matters. On great days, I live in your laughter. I could.